Welcome to Cooper MMA. I'm Mark Gilston. It's my friend Brandon. And today I'm responding to a request from William Breen who asked, how do you deal with wrestlers single and double leg takedowns? Uh, and the judo response to that, there are two throws. Uh, Obi Tori Gaishi, the belt pull down reversal and Tawara Gaishi, which is the rice bag reversal. They're both fundamentally the same throws. Uh, the rice bag reversal works with no gi, belt pull down obviously. You need your opponent to have a belt. So, um, but I figure I'll start out by just showing you these throws, then I'll show the applications in uh, against single and double leg takedowns, and then we'll look at some other defenses which you can use against single and double legs, which are not necessarily quite so judo oriented, but very important for BJJ. So, um, the straw bag reversal, when we're here, if my opponent is leaning forward, so Brandon is actually blocking me with his head, which makes things important to move his head out of the way. For the straw bag reversal, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push his head into my armpit, grab around the waist, heavy elbows, and I'm going to jump between his legs. And that's important, it's important to bring my elbow down uh, past his head and really jump between his legs. And he goes over. Now, in uh, an actual application of the throw, I would follow into uh, a, a top mount, Tate Shiogatani. Um, so let me, by holding on to his waist, I will let his momentum carry me over. And here I end up on top in a nice high mount. Obitori Gaeshi is very similar, uh, but instead of grabbing him around the waist, I'm going to grab his belt. So he's leaning over a little bit. I push down, grab the belt, heavy, heavy elbow. Now I don't actually have to throw him in this position. I can just pull him down and take his back. But for the throw, in the judo setting, I want to flip him. So go ahead. And I can grab this way or this way, whichever is handy. And once again, I end up in a mount position. So these are the throws that I'm going to use. Now, a good wrestler does not tuck his head. A good wrestler comes in very, very low and uses his legs to pick me up. So you'll notice that he's also pushing with this arm. All of this blocks me, makes it a little more difficult to reach under. So again, so when he comes in, I have to compensate for both the head and the arm. Because he's so deep, I don't have to get quite as deep under him, but it's still important for me to thrust my hips and legs forward in response again. So that's a single leg. Double leg works virtually the same way. You'll notice that I have to be willing to go either to the right or the left side. I have to be comfortable flipping him on either side. So depending upon which side his head is on, that's the arm that leads.
Now, if he is doing a deep sprawling attack, I have to shoot under more, but it's actually easier for me. So. <laughs> Almost in slow motion. If there's so much pressure on the hips that I cannot get under him, I must respond by sprawling. I can't collapse if I cannot get under his legs. So in that case, instead of jumping forward, I jump back. And now I have a nice top position to continue the attack. Again, this works either single or double. But I want to make sure that I end up on top and have some kind of uh, leverage with my legs. Let's do it slow. So immediately I'm bringing my legs back, bringing my stomach forward. You'll notice I don't lower my head. My head stays high. As I come back, I can bring him down. So one other thing that can happen is he successfully grabs a leg or both legs and actually lifts me off the ground. But he's trying using his head to try and bowl me over. So here I am. He's going to start spinning sideways the other way, actually, and that's going to throw me. <laughs> that's good. Slowly. <laughs> All right. So I have to be I have to be prepared if that happens. So when he comes in, as soon as he lifts my leg, I'm going to turn onto this shoulder and pull sharply on the sleeve. If I can grab something here, even better. But it goes fast, so you have to respond quickly. Same principle works even if you are totally in the air with a double leg, double leg. I'm turning onto my side and flinging him over. I can't get underneath him, but I can spin. I can use my core and twist my body. One more time. All right, so hopefully that answers the question and gives you some ideas of how to deal with single and double leg takedowns. If you've enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe to our channel, Seri Yoku Zenyo, that means maximum efficiency. And if you click on the bell, you can get the videos as soon as they are posted. Thank you, Brandon.